objective is to find and kill assigned targets. Avoid being killed by other players. Hello there people, this is Novamage once again, and welcome to another commentary. Although this is a little different from my ordinary commentaries because, well, guess what? I got some news. I am 26 years old. <laughs> uh, kids, take it easy. My birthday was already two days ago and there's no cake for you. So yeah, just chill out because you're not getting anywhere. Alright? <laughs> Well, yes, people, uh, 17 of February this month. Uh, well, well, I just said February. <laughs> 17 of this month, which is February. I just uh, turned 26. Um, don't know if I should be happy about that, because that just means I am older, and is there's less time for me to live. And you only live once, they say, right? <laughs> well, yeah, you know, uh, as you grow older, like when you're really, really small, you just want to get old and yeah you're just thinking oh yeah I want to grow up I want to be like the grown-ups but as you get old is is quite the opposite in fact like when you get to twenty, well I don't know other people but like when you get to 25 it's like I just want to stay there it's like in that movie and I don't know if you guys ha might have seen it it's called in time with Justin Timberlake where, well, it's a science fiction movie that when people get to the age of 25, they just stop aging. Sounds neat, right? But yeah, unfortunately, in real life, time doesn't forgive anyone. And actually, I wanna, I wanna talk about that, uh, about the importance of using your time, using your time in an adequate manner, the importance of sharing with people, of of doing the thing that that makes you truly happy, you know? For example, I, I do YouTube videos, but okay, well, I do enjoy that other people see my videos and that. Do you think I would keep doing this if I wasn't enjoying it? I mean, I have been doing YouTube videos for over a year now, about a year and six months, if I am not mistaken, and that's a lot of time. When you come to think about it, if I was just doing something to please other people or I don't know maybe for popularity or something like that will I have truly wasted a year and six months of my life well it doesn't really go like that I'm not saying that I do not appreciate that you guys see my videos be because I do appreciate and the reason that I appreciate that the most is that one of my objectives is to meet new people and to share my personality to the world and you, doing YouTube videos is a great way of doing this, of course, because of all the ways that you interact with your subscribers and other people. Well, yeah, subscribers after a while, not everybody's a subscriber, right? And another thing is that I always had the spirit of an adventurer, I would like to say. I mean, I wish to travel, to meet people, to share ideas. But unfortunately, I don't have the kind of money to do any of that. So I just stick to my guns to do what I can, right? In other words, I share stuff here, there, on YouTube, Twitter, because that's like the only thing I can do that is within my reach to to share with other people. Yeah, so basically I just want to highlight the importance of doing what you love. Don't waste time. Well, it's okay listening to other people, but don't, don't do things just to make other people happy do what makes you truly happy because as I always say your lifetime is limited and there will be one day when you would think back about all the things you did and you don't want to have regrets when you're gonna die right <coughs> okay so now jumping <laughs> well a dramatic topic change plot twist yeah <laughs> well I have an announcement and it's something that I have actually been thinking for a while, and it's a little tournament I want to make. Okay, so what is this tournament about? Okay, uh, well, I want to make a tournament with around 16 people if possible, including including me among as the host of the tournament, and at least other person to assist me organizing it. So yeah, th there will be like 14 contestants besides me and whoever I choose to help me with that and the thing is that I want to make a tournament of deathmatch that emphasizes on the use of stealth specifically it's not like not 
is like the free running is gonna be useless either. It's also gonna be useful, but removing uh, like the importance that the abilities have on most of the gameplay because let's face it, people. I mean, abilities kind of well, some of them are kind of overpowered. And not necessarily overpowered, but they kind of you know make the game a bit messy and less stealthy. But nonetheless, here's the idea. And you guys, please. Uh, leave feedback about it on the comment section. Okay, so tournament is called keeping it stylish. Tournament, <laughs> yeah, keeping it stylish. It just, I just copied that straight from Dante of the Devil May Cry series. Well, uh, this tournament, uh, well, as I said, it's a deathmatch tournament. It has a few ability restrictions. In particular, there are three abilities that are forbidden. Those abilities are, oh my God. We all know which is the first one, Smoke Bomb, and Knives, and the Hidden Gun. Oh wait, and you might say, but why would I forbid Knives? Well, the thing is that without Smoke Bomb in the picture, uh, Knives will be completely overpowered, so yeah, simply gotta take them out of the picture. So yeah, those three abilities uh, are not permitted. You can use any other ability set. Also, Animus Hack is not permitted, so <coughs> other than Animus Hack, you can use any streak you like. And basically that's it when it comes to restrictions. Uh, we're going to be playing on the old maps so that player without the DLC can play. If everybody has the DLC for of the players that uh, are going to participate in the tournament, then perfect. We can play on the new maps, but if not, it's just going to go with the old maps. Uh, the tournament might be price supported. I'm not confirming prices yet. It depends on a few things. But it doesn't matter, I want to organize a tournament regardless of whether there's going to be a prize or not. And if anybody's uh, willing to participate in it, regardless of a prize, then that's perfect. Okay, so to participate in the tournament, uh, just on the comment section below, uh, you have to leave me the following details. First, what platform uh, do, uh, do you play? And your ID on that platform and up uh, your time zone because I'm gonna using the time zones uh, I'm gonna try to coordinate the best scale for for the tournament so that uh, I can get all the people and that it's most likely gonna be a Saturday if not to say it's gonna be a Saturday because all the other days I work <coughs> so it's gonna be a Saturday at some specific hour and I'm gonna check in the comment sections uh, how many entrants are for each platform the platform that gets the 16 or 15 entrants first is most likely the one that I'm gonna choose as the platform for the, for the tournament because as you know I can play on all three platforms but I gotta choose one for the tournament I cannot make three tournaments I might make a tournament later on each platform but for now it's just gonna have to be one finally about the tournament uh, I wanted to implement a different score system for it and is that it's not just decided by who wins. It's more decided uh, with a skill system that I have uh, devised. Uh, I just call it the <laughs> stylish score system or triple S. <laughs> yeah, right. I know I'm so creative. Anyway, uh, the triple S uh, score system. Well, the that's redundant because score system is part of the letters. <laughs> anyway, uh, with this score system, uh, basically it consists on the following. After every match, uh, you check the points that every player has and the number of thousands that they have in points, they get that number of points. So if you have like 8,000 points, that means you get 8 points in the tournament. And for winning, you get 3 points. For being in second place, you get 2 points. And for being in third place, you get one point. So the idea is that uh, we play various rounds, like uh, one, one, many rounds, and after each round, the person that has uh, the least, the least points in the score system, is removed from the tournament. And basically, that's how it works. If you have any suggestions about this, uh, please tell me. I'm still open to some suggestions. Uh, but that's most likely how it's gonna be. And just let me know what you think about it. Well, okay, something's about to happen here. I just don't know if you have been watching the game, but uh, I'm, I've been losing in second place to the guy with Animus Hack, and here I'm making a grab kill. 
I need just one point for my streak. Time's running out. And... Question of the day. What happens here? A. Does he drop a time traveling smoke bomb which makes time go back and the kill animation cancel and he stuns me? B. Did you hear the gun click? Do I get shot and I don't win? Or C. The guy, the Hishian, who is right beside him, is my pursuer and pulls me out of the kill animation and kills me. Or the time runs out and I don't get the kill. Make your bets. Come on, people. Bet, bet. Anyone? Okay, did, uh, uh, okay are you ready? Wanna continue? Okay, here it goes. Guess what? Ubisoft just gave me my early birthday present. <laughs> yeah, this match I recorded it during my birthday. And I was so thinking that Ubisoft somehow had something to do with that because I think they gave me my birthday gift <laughs> by allowing me to make that incredible comeback right there at the end. Well, guys, uh... I uh, hope you like the tournament idea. Oh, something else. Uh, please, on the please read the description in case I forgot to say something here. But also in the in in your entry in the comment section, please leave whether you have a PBR or not, because that will be cool to record the tournament from different point of views when it takes place. So yeah, for now that's just the tournament an tournament announcement. I will upload another video with more details later. And now I have a little special for all of you guys. Here it comes. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to Nova Mage, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Nova, happy birthday to you. Janmadin Mubarak ho, Janmadin Mubarak ho. Janmadin Mubarak ho Nova Janmadin Mubarak ho So give me more Nova So give me more Nova So give me more So give me more So give me more Diana Zum Geburtstag viel Glück Zum Geburtstag viel Glück Zum Geburtstag liebe Nova Zum Geburtstag viel Glück. Zum Geburtstag viel Glück. Zum Geburtstag viel Glück. Zum Geburtstag lieber Nova. Zum Geburtstag viel Glück. Bonafide Nova. Bonafide Nova. Bonafide, Bonafide, Bonafide Nova. Bonafide Nova. Feliz cumpleaños a ti, feliz cumpleaños a ti, feliz cumpleaños a Nova Mitch, feliz cumpleaños a ti. Cumpleaños feliz, cumpleaños feliz, te deseamos todos. Cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños, cumpleaños. Que los cumplas feliz. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait a second. DJ, uh, isn't it my birthday? Why am I singing? <laughs> you freaking idiot. <laughs> I was not supposed to sing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, people, uh, I just want to say I am thankful to everybody who participated in this. It's just one of my crazy ideas. And okay, okay I'm, uh, I'm going to put uh, annotations on each of the names of the people who have YouTube channels. So you check them out and share the love. And for all those people that participated in this, uh, let me tell you that all of you have a special place amongst my friends. You are freaking awesome. Well, that's it, people. I hope you like. As usual, if you liked, 
hit the like button, subscribe if you want more, and thanks for watching again. I will see you next time.